Finally! It's here! It's June! I'm so excited to be able to really talk about that dude with attitude I named my channel after. As you can tell, I'm a pretty big Sonic fan if I say so myself. And since the blue blur is celebrating his 25th anniversary this year, I thought it'd be best to make the next few videos dedicated to Sonic. This is Sonic Month. Now, Sonic games have been known to have incredible intros. They are captivating, usually have some breathtaking animation, and they overall get you to want to play the game. The rules are simple. There can't be anything from the Sega Superstar series or the All-Star Racing series. Also, they must appear before you press the start button or you leave the title screen on for a bit. And remember that this video is totally opinion based, so if you don't agree with one seating on the list, then that's totally cool. Now without further delay, enjoy the countdown. While I personally don't think this one's as solid as an intro, it's still pretty good for what it accomplishes. It does focus too much on Team Sonic, where we barely get any screen time with the other teams. It's mostly just Sonic. Which doesn't make any sense considering that you honestly spend more time playing the other team's story. It also somewhat bothers me with the use of redone animation from the game to describe the other teams. It still has some great original animation and even One Piece taking place at one of my favorite stages of the series, and the foreshadowing of the villains. And Super Bunny Hop pointed this out, but that some of the sound effects are out of sync. Yeah, I know that's nitpicking, but it's still rather jarring. And I honestly think that the song, Sonic Heroes, isn't really one of the Crust 40's greatest. Still, every once in a while, I will have this one on, and it's just, well, okay. Okay, yeah. Even though this intro is extremely edgy, Shadow's intro really gets me excited to play the game. I mean, when you got this new song by Crush 40 that starts off with a rocking guitar, and then all these sick ass vocals, it's a really extreme and pretty gruesome imagery considering the series. Personally, I think this was due to what I call the Grand Theft Edge era. You see, after Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, lots of series went well, edgy. You know, stuff like Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, because well, the demographic was growing up. However, let's be honest on this, Sega, you were pretty late on this. Something I noticed while watching this, but these gun soldiers have the accuracy of stormtroopers. Yet these aliens can just one-shot them. Well, I guess they do need Shadow. But oh well. This intro gets on here with its use of music and sync with the imagery, and while the entire concept of the game did not appeal to you, I'm pretty sure that some of you guys can agree with me when I say, yeah, that was pretty hype. Sonic Colors intro really means a lot to me. It feels like, well, a clean slate. Introducing all new power-ups, a new type of direction instead of being flung all over the place like the last game, and a very uplifting song. I have other things to say about Colors and I will save that for a later date, but still, Colors just basically means, hey, let's get it back and down to business and instead of making an epic, let's make a Sonic game. 
The intro is beautifully animated, just like all the other Sonic intros, and just looking at this intro makes me want to play it. It shows off all the color power abilities, and it's all wrapped up in an original, excuse me for the pun here, colorful song. With this intro, I will definitely be reaching for the stars tonight. Just take my head, we're gonna reach for the stars tonight. tonight. The reason that this intro is at this place on the list is because it focuses on buildup and contrast. It opens up on Radical Highway, and both Shadow and Sonic are heading toward each other from opposing sides. While Shadow is grinding from left to right of the screen, Sonic is heading from right to left, representing the rivalry between the two. And each time they switch to one another, the characters on opposing sides are shown, while Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles are the heroes, Shadow, Dr. Eggman, and Rouge are the dark side. And as you notice, each guitar riff whenever a particular character is shown actually resembles how each of them are. Whether it was intentional or not, it's the small things that really count. And the intro ends with a pose that just really sums up the rival aspect of the entire game. And even to some degree these characters today. Now which side are you on? This intro is just beautiful to look at. While many intros are just CGI, this one goes the opposite route and goes for a stylized 2D art style approach, which is the stuff I live for. From the air pumping out of the extreme gear to all the characters riding on the supersonic wave, you can tell that a lot of love and care was put into every frame of this intro. I'm honestly kind of neutral on the music, but here it's visuals over sound. The use of hand-drawn animation is something usually not seen in Sonic intros, and this is why this one stands out a lot. Fun fact! Did you know that some of the animators from this went to work on Attack on Titan? Pretty cool! It's a great intro for a great, yet underrated racing game. What more could you ask for? Depends if you like the English or the Japanese version of it, no one can deny the greatness of this intro. From the same animators who brought you Dragon Ball Z comes this amazing intro. It looks gorgeous, and it's really a perfect representation of the game. From everything from the speedy hedgehog with attitude, loop de doops and for the most part, the music is kinda inspirational. Especially with the Japanese intro, which literally is, you can do anything. It was one of the first real intros to a Sonic game. And it's not one of the best because it was first, but it's the be one of the best because it was legendary. So after Sonic Team let monkeys make a game, oh no, we didn't know what to think of Sonic. But then, Sonic Unleashed was born. <laughs> hmm? 
This is kind of cheating because this is the opening cutscene of the game. But man, this is epic. The entire thing is eye candy. Sonic's doing what he does best against Eggman's entire feet. We finally have Sonic actually having the emeralds and going Super Sonic. And for once in his life, Eggman actually captures Sonic. And I do have to admit, this shot of Eggman looking at the planet is pretty cool. And hey, the performances by Jason Griffin and Mike Pollock are actually not too bad. Here's a Sonic! I'm, I'm sorry. Really? Look, go easy on me! I'll turn over a new leaf, I swear! Just give me a chance! Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Gotcha! What? The real reason this is number two, well, it is kind of cheating, and also, well, this. <laughs> Overall, Kinda of cheating, but it's still one of the greater Sonic intros. Wait. Wait a minute. It was the opening for the Wii version. It's fair! Success! A brilliant success! It's just as the Gaia manuscripts foretold! The entity that was sealed within the planet has awakened! Now I just need to harness its power! Eggman Land will finally come to be! Yeah! <laughs> You've really gone and done it this time, Eggman. Ah, Sonic, that's a good look for you. Festy, so long, friend. So it's the late 90s, and every mascot platformer is making the jump to 3D. Mario, Zelda, and everyone is wondering, when will Sonic make that jump, and how? <clears throat> the true jump. Well, it starts off kind of gloomy. You just see a city with people, and all of a sudden, water. and destruction, flood, Angel Island falling yet again, the Egg Terrier caving off flight, literal chaos. Now this is something that Work Nerd Word pointed out in his video on the same subject matter. This intro is very risky. It really showed off the end game. It showed off the final boss. Sega literally spoiled the game. But it worked. It showed the shift in having a bit of a modern tone without going full on edgy, like what happened a few years later. But oh well. We see Sonic running to save people, and then... You know what happens next. Every playable character is shown, and then an enthusiastic singer tells us to open our heart. Leaning into the final stance of Sonic, up and ready for his adventure. This intro is number one for how revolutionary it was. It signaled the beginning of Sonic's 3D career, and the beginning of a grand adventure. All you had to do next was press start. Huh. 
Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video, but don't leave yet, more videos are coming this month, so subscribe for updates on that. If you want to hear my voice more, you can check out the last video, or the time I played Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform with the Hypernauts. This was a fun video to make, so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I usually read all the comments so you can keep discussing the topic there. Also give me a like on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter for edgy gaming goodness. Catch you next time. Well, it starts off kind of gloomy. You just see a city with people, and all of a sudden, water. <laughs>